home back-to-back -back halfway through the holiday homestand. And two of the top four scoring teams in the NBA matching up. Second meeting of the year with the Warriors against the Clippers. Kevin Durant is playing spectacular basketball. The key bucket against Dallas, phenomenal line score. And the killer three when the Warriors needed it most. The All-Stars usually lead the way. But to beat a team like LA, you need the roster. You need the reserves. Jonas Jerebko coming off a career night. And the Warriors will need more of that firepower against an LA team that features a Warrior killer. 50 the last time he was at Oracle. 14 of 14 from the line in LA. Lou Williams must be stopped. The Clippers and Warriors, round two. Starting lineups at Oracle, coming up next. Gallinari, a phenomenal free thrower, dropping them both in. That's important tonight. He's at 92% from the line. You foul the Clippers, you can have a problem. Yeah. And Steph beats Bradley, lays it up and in, and draws the foul. That is a spectacular play, particularly considering the defender who's guarding him. Well, they're going to pick up at half court. This is what you got to do, make him pay the price. And he gets hit and maintains the concentration on the rim. But this is what you have to do. Somebody takes you at half court, you gotta, if you can't take them off the dribble, you don't belong in this league. Tobias Harris with an air ball. The thing about Draymond though, when you have a bad toe, you can't, and you're sitting and waiting to rehab and get better, that's a terrific pass. That was an absolute gorgeous pass leading Curry to the basket. But you can't stay in shape because you can't run. You can't run and push off that toe. So it's really tough. And Steph on the reload and drops in the triple. Well, make it one of four, but on the same possession, it's as good as one for one. Repco missing that three. Remember I said there's no size inside? Steph Curry just got that offensive rebound. And Beverly, he's an irritant. He's trying to get into something right off the bat. Sure. They'd sacrifice him for Curry. Oh, in a second. And he knows it. He didn't like that Steph flexed after he got the offensive rebound. So he was fouled as he got that rebound. Uh, yeah, you're right. Oh, a little push. I'd like to see it. Let's see how he responds. So it's a double technical foul. Steph with a little flex. I guess could be construed as taunting, and then Beverly shoved him. So, no free throws. Uh, Steph just got the news. Uh, he didn't take it so well here. He just got, he, he had no idea that was going to be blown. Look at, look at Beverly, he's, he's, he's tracking him. Well, Beverly and Bradley, like I said, they're just tagging each other out. And Steve Kerr is protecting Steph right yep, now. Yep. Because as you said, Jim, that's all they would want is to take Steph off his game, and Beverly knows it. And that's more his game. He is a junkyard dog. And Steph will get a foul. Avery Bradley and Beverly are going to be inside that 30 jersey all night. Steph with the three. So that was on Beverly. Curry continues the mastery for the Clippers at the three-point line. 11 of 14, and you're getting into record-setting halftime territory. Very mid-range. And Tobias Harris is going for him. Well, it, this, this may be the best three-point shooting half in NBA history. We're getting close. Curry with a three. Draymond rolling, Draymond laying it in, and he's fouled. Oh, this is second Curry here. He makes this look easy, but it is not easy. And Steph is fouled. And Steph dropping in both free throws. i tell you, the mental toughness of Steph Curry being harassed by Bradley and Beverly, and yet Steph still had 22 in the first half. That's extremely impressive. And that didn't come easily. That was work. Steph on the crossover, flipping it up and in. Possession by possession. He's got to climb back into the game. Curry, round home that three. Yeah, 
and Gortat cannot come out and switch on that screen and be effective with it. That gives Curry a little more room. And Steph has just committed the fourth Warrior team foul, and there's over seven minutes left in this quarter. Harris followed his own shot, but Durant snatched it away from him. Yeah, Harris shot that shot. He knew it was going to miss, and that's why he kept following it. That was his only chance. Steph banking it home. And Doc Rivers going to use a timeout. Yep, he's sensing uh, this is not a good time right now for my clips. Lenari with a step back. He and Harris have been just awesome. Clay off a made basket, runs the floor, and is found for the layup. How nice was that? Didn't we see that last game? We did. Kind of occurrence. Knocked away. Draymond, beautiful. Curry assessing transition to the rim, and he will get to the line. Steph hits both free throws. So Curry's got 31, Durant's got 21. 11 from Draymond, 12 from Clay to offset Harris and Gallinari getting it done for the Clippers with 24 and 19. Jarebko, three. And Steph saw it. Steph turned around three and he got it. They needed that. After being tied when you're up by nine. Durant's looking for Steph. Turns and fires a three. He was fouled. An opportunity for a four-point play. Kevin's already had one. Curry's got a chance to do the same. No one catches the ball, squares up, and releases faster than Stephen Curry. Bradley thought he had him covered. Curry has 40. Third time this year for 40. Steph and KD, that 1-3 interchange. Curry down the lane, kick out to Draymond. Skip pass to Curry in the corner, gets around Harrell. Shot clock at two. Draymond's got to shoot the three, and he missed it. Good defense by the Clippers. Great ball movement, but it didn't yield anything. Harrell tried to bang into Curry. Bradley for three. Oh, biggest shot of the game. 18 of 23 on threes. 15 second assistance. difference. Back up to Curry. Oh, great. Draymond didn't catch it cleanly. Durant will rise for three. Rim it out. Draymond batted it back, but it's Harris in motion. Harris going to try to tie the game. It hit the rim, and then Bradley dunked it down. Oh, this game has everything. But the Warriors get the last shot. Okay, so this is why you go two for one. You got a good look at a three. The shot clock is off. You're playing for the win. Down to seven. Draymond went to set the screen down to three. Look how far they pushed him out. Down the lane for the lead! He got it! They got a mismatch. They switched, and they got Harrell on Curry. So the high screen by Draymond, the mismatch with Harrell, and Steph didn't want to settle for a nope. jumper here. No, nope. now he knows he can get by a bigger man. Overextending was Harrell. Too much pressure. Curry just used that pressure against Montrez Harrell and beat him to the basket. He knew he could get around him at any time. He loved that they switched out front. And when they switched, they vacated that area for him to work one-on-one. -on -one. So the Clippers now will use a timeout and move it into the front court. Five tenths left. It's got to be a quick catch and shoot. I think they're going to catch up, up above the top of the circle. Tobias Harris. Yep. Give him a try. They're looking, they're looking, they're looking. Harris has got it. He throws. And the Warriors win. What a finish. What a game. Steph, can you just take us through what was unfolding for you on the court on that last play? Uh, I mean, just like K did last game, we the high pick and roll. We uh, just got to make a play and try not to rush and uh, you know, beat him downhill. They would make a, a play. Draymond was uh, underrated in that position. He sealed the guy well so I get to the lane and get to the basket. 
uh, it was a great way to finish. You started the fourth quarter with four fouls. Jonas had four. Draymond picked up his fourth and fifth. What kind of poise did you guys show to close out this game? That's how it goes, man. That's how it's been all year for us. Uh, teams get hot. We have some slip-ups. There's a momentum swing all, all night, so you just got to figure out how to weather the storm um, and just keep our composure down the stretch like we did. Before I let you go, I want you to talk about your teammate here. Just looking at his line last night, 29-12-8. and eight. Tonight, 35-12-5 and five for KD. What is he putting together right now? That's what he's been doing his whole career. Ain't nothing surprising, obviously. You want to celebrate what he's doing and uh, putting together full, complete games. Defensively, tonight was uh, was a difference really in uh, that third quarter contested shots blocking shots that gave us a lot of energy tonight. thank you very much Steph